Well, guys, I was wanting to get away from some of these challenge locks for a little while. So I went shopping on eBay and I bought this huge, this giant Ludell. And this is how the picture looked. I must have used a fisheye lens. This thing is tiny. It's like 40 millimeter. Not a whole lot bigger than a normal master lock. And I've got a feeling it might very well be like a master lock. It is a five pinner. Here's what the key looks like. Now, when you take a look at this thing, you notice that it's not machine cut. So somebody really carried this thing around a very long time. Wore, wore off all the lettering. Somewhere on here it says, like right here it says made, like made in. And it's probably USA would be my guess. But there's what your key looks like. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I don't think it's going to be too spectacular, to be honest with you. So what we'll do, let's just go through the normal attack techniques that you do on a on a padlock that you really don't suspect too much of, like, like this Liddell. Let's first try to see if it's shielded. So we're going to take our knife, and it's a nice wide open keyway. I'm just going to take the knife, put it on the side with the pins, push the pins down, and angle up like that. And then shove it all the way in the back, and then try to find the actuator. And we did, so it's not even shielded. Let's go ahead and close it up. And let's make sure this key does work. I haven't even done that. I was so disappointed when I found this tiny lock inside of the package. All right, let's see if we find another way to defeat it. Um, typical technique is shimming. So let's get some shims. Let's find one that looks to be just kind of the right size, like this guy. And let's just see if we can slide him down in there. It doesn't look too bad. There is a little bit of a gap there. So let's shim the wider one first, and then we'll go for the other one. So we'll just slide him in. And he slid. He went right in there. Let's see if we can just do it with one side. And we can. All right, so, oh well, there's not even a cutout on that side. So one-sided locking on this Ludell. All right. Another technique. This is so exciting. God, this piece of junk lock. All right, wide open keyway, but the bottom of it is open. So we're going to take the tension wrench, just find one that doesn't bind up against the bottom. And this this is the medium width. Uh, I got a uh, white band on it, like red, white, and blue. White is the middle. And then we're just going to take a rake. And I'm going to, for once, get to use my 25 thousandths. So slide it in, light tension. And let's see if we can get this Liddell to cooperate today. And we can. He's cooperating with everything. Why can't I? I was never able to get a date that would do that, but this lock certainly is. All right, um, we raked it. Let's just try SPP in it. Again, I'm going to use, this is a 25,000, the uh, hybrid pick from Sparrows. All the way in. Light tension. Actually, medium tension. It does have a little bit of spring tension on the core, but not enough to resist an opening. You know, he's being so cooperative. Let's just try one last thing. I'm going to take the tension wrench, stick him in there. I'm going to take this same pick, except I'm going to put him in upside down with a point down, and then I'm going to just apply light tension, and then I'm just going to kind of rock it just to see if this Liddell will open my god. This is so much easier than challenge locks. I should do these all the time. I'm going to start shopping around on eBay looking for more Liddells. This is great. Anyway, maybe not. Fellas, if you see a giant Liddell listed on eBay, it's probably me. Go ahead and buy it. However much I'm asking, it's well worth the lack of security that you're guaranteed to get from this lock. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. And seriously, stay away from Liddell. What a disappointment. <laughs>